What's going on everyone? Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to take you through a few ways to style over shirts. Welcome back to my channel everyone. I hope you're all well. So I recently just got back from Morocco. I, had a, I was in Marrakesh for a few nights with a few friends of mine. I had a really cool time and I switched off from like YouTube, social media and stuff. Just went there on holiday, just wanted to relax and unwind. But anyway, I'm back and in this video, I'm going to take you through a few ways to style over shirts or shackets. Now you might hear them called overshirts, you might hear them called shackets. And basically what is an overshirt, what is a shacket? If you think about a shirt and a jacket, if they got together and had a child, it would be called the shacket. And it's something that's super stylish right now. It's really, really on trend. It was kind of on trend last year, but it wasn't as big. You'll be seeing a lot more of it in your high street stores during this season. The shacket is amazing for creating smart, casual looks this time of the year. It's really good for layering and it's a really, really cool piece that you want to have in your wardrobe. It's going to be super versatile and you're going to be able to create really, really nice outfits with it. Without any further ado, I'm going to get into the video and give you some tips on how to style them for this season. Now, the first way to style an overshirt or a shacket is a little bit of overlap from a video I posted a few weeks ago, which was on how to style roll necks. Now, when I talked in that video about how to style roll necks, one of the things I said was to wear it with an overshirt. Now, the same goes in this video when it comes to how to style an overshirt or a shacket. One of the great ways to style them is with a roll neck underneath. Having a roll neck underneath with like an overshirt over the top, it creates a really nice outfit. You're gonna have that smart casual vibe. It's gonna keep you warm as well because you've got the roll neck underneath. And because you've got those two different layers, it's gonna create a really nice outfit. And the great thing with wearing a roll neck with an overshirt is that because the overshirt usually stops here, you'll have your collars here, and the roll neck will carry on going up. It just adds a little bit of a different vibe and a different kind of look to your outfit. It's such a great look to go to for fall and winter. Now the second way to style an overshirt is a really, really simple way. And this is some way, something that you could probably do if you live in somewhere where it's not super cold at the moment. So maybe you wanna wear an overshirt, you wanna rock some layers, and it's not that cold at the moment if you're wearing knitwear underneath. If you do wear knitwear, you're gonna get super hot. Just rock it with a t-shirt underneath, layer it with a t-shirt with the overshirt over the top. You won't be getting super hot and it's gonna create a couple of layers and it'll look super stylish as well. This is really easy to do. You can go with plain colored t-shirts, you can go with like a printed t-shirt. And if you just wanted to keep it simple, something like um, some maybe black distressed denim, black t-shirt with like a contrasting color overshirt over the top, just to give that different type of look. And if you wanted to make it look cool, you can always add Chelsea boots because you know Chelsea boots a really really cool way to elevate your outfit. Now the great thing with overshirts is that they're generally quite thin which means you can create a lot of layered looks and the more layers you add to your outfit the more dope it's going to look to an extent. Don't go around rocking like 10 layers because you're going to walk around like this because you've got too many clothes on. But like two three layered outfits are going to look really cool and with an overshirt because it's quite thin you can make it the final layer or you could have it as the middle layer. So for example you could have a roll neck with an overshirt as a middle layer and then like a big coat over the top, maybe a MAC trench coat, overcoat. It's gonna create a really nice outfit. Wear the overshirt open, so you can definitely see the three layers and it's, trust me, it's gonna look really cool. Another way to rock it is maybe you've got a t-shirt underneath, have the t-shirt a little bit more long line, then you have a piece of knitwear over the top and maybe a jumper, not a roll neck, so like a normal jumper, a cable knit jumper or something, and then wear the overshirt on top as the final layer. And once again, having those three layers all showing, it's gonna create a really nice outfit. Now, creating outfits that you're gonna wear all day long, but maybe you wanna have the same outfit, but you wanna smile it up for the evening, you wanna have that daytime to nighttime kind of look going on. The great thing is, if you've got an overshirt, in the daytime, you might rock it open with like a t-shirt underneath, a more casual vibe. And then maybe in the evening, you're going to a nice restaurant, you're going to a rooftop bar for drinks or something. You wanna smarten up your outfit, you're not gonna have time to go home. Basically, just do the buttons up on your overshirt and it becomes a much, much smarter outfit. You're wearing the same clothes, you just styled it in a completely different way to give you that daytime to nighttime look to make it more of a smart casual outfit in the daytime, make it a lot smarter in the evening. Now I spoke about wearing the overshirt with the roll neck underneath. It's the kind of outfit that you'll be seeing a lot of, but one thing that a lot of people don't think of, they automatically think, chuck the overshirt over the top, leave the buttons undone. Most people will wear, the, wear this outfit with the buttons undone, but it's also a look that you can easily rock with the buttons done up and it looks really, really cool. So next time you're wearing a roll neck and you put an overshirt over the top, do a few of the buttons up, maybe leave like the top two or three undone because otherwise it gets a bit too tight. Just leave maybe the top two or three buttons undone, but you'll still have the roll neck peeping out the top of the overshirt. And the final tip I'm gonna give you guys on styling roll necks is the type of bottoms you choose. So if you wanna go for a more casual vibe, you wanna keep it a little bit more street style, you can go for some distressed denim or normal denim, maybe some ripped jeans, 
distressed denim and jeans is going to give that more casual laid back vibe whereas if you want to smarten up the outfit and you want to create a much smarter look for maybe an evening you're going out or something go for some smart trousers tailored trousers or maybe some smart or tailored chinos once you rock the trousers or chinos instead of the jeans it's going to automatically make the outfit look a lot smarter and you can also wear smarter shoes instead of wearing more casual shoes just to help your outfit look that little bit smarter rather than more casual so that's all from this video i hope i've given you guys some really good tips on how to style over shirts for this season it's going to be a massive trend you're going to be seeing over shirts everywhere in your high street stores i went to river island last week and i saw a ton of them in there already so make sure you get some in your wardrobe and hopefully this video is giving you some good tips on how to style them I'd love to see how you guys style your um, over shirts so if you're rocking your over shirts you've posted them to Instagram tag me in your outfits or just send me a link or something so I can have a look at the outfit because it really means a lot when I can see my tips helping you guys if you enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and if you haven't already don't forget to subscribe to my channel but until next week that's all from this video peace